back to my channel. So, in today's video, we're going to review some of Indonesian's makeup brands. So, I only pick a few makeup. Um, this is sort of like a drugstore brand. Um, so, first, I'm going to try this makeover um, foundation. This is the Ultra Copper. Ultra Copper Liquid Matte Foundation. So I got this in the shade Nude Silk. It's quite thick but a bit liquidy. Like this. So I'm going to dot some of the foundation into my face. I'm going to use my foundation brush, the usual one. This foundation is like medium to full coverage foundation because with that one layer, I think it's quite full coverage. Try to put another layer. What do you think? I'm going to put some of my on my forehead. Mattifying, but it's not that matte, which is good because I don't really like matte foundations on my face. I feel like with matte foundation, it tends to look not old, but more like mature, I think. Wow. I think I'm quite impressed with this foundation. And so for me, this foundation is medium coverage, I think, because I still got like the red dot there. I'll try to cover it with more layer. definitely um, build this foundation oh and I haven't I haven't told you about the price I think I got it on this count which is 99,000 Indonesian dollar no, Indonesian rupiahs but I'm not sure how much it cost before the discount let me check Oh, okay, so before the discount, it co it costs. So before the discount, the price is one hundred and forty thousand Indonesian rupiah. And well, I got it for I think ninety nine thousand Indonesian rupiahs because they have like a big discount. On that day, so yeah, and with with one hundred and forty thousand Indonesian rupiah, that's quite cheap, and also the quality is, I think it's good. This is like a first impression, so I'm not sure how will it hold throughout the day. Anyway, so next I'm going to do, I'm going to put some concealer. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'll put that some on my eye as my eyeshadow base.
After putting the concealer, I feel like this is a full coverage foundation. Um, yeah, I think you can build it to full coverage. But that's... I don't really like full coverage foundation because... I, I like to use like a medium coverage. But yeah, for this... But I know some people do like full coverage, so I'll do full coverage for this video. So next, I'm going to set my whole face and also my concealer. I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless um, Press Powder. She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby This is the first time for me to try um, Indonesian makeup brands Cause before I only tried the Sassy um, liquid lipstick I think And that one is very nice So yeah I'm curious about other makeup brands because before I went to Melbourne, there's not a lot of um, makeup, uh, Indonesian makeup brands. But then until recently, there's a lot of Indonesian makeup brands that look really, really good. So I'm really want, I really want to try them out. So next, I have this Madam G Contour Powder. Um, this one is in this shade, Make It Sharp. I think they only have like two colors and this one is the light one. So this is how it looks. I'm going to... I don't usually contour because... I don't know. I feel like when I contour my face, my jaw look a bit more common, but yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm going to try to contour my face. Oh, and this contour powder, I think it's all, it only costs like 14,000 Indonesian rupees. Oh, wait, sorry. So, if you convert Indonesian rupees to Australian dollar, I think it will be like 1.4 1 dollar and 40 cents Australian dollars, I think It's around that price, but this is like 1 dollar contour powder The color is good. It's not as smooth as I would like it to be. On my left cheek, I feel like it's, it's looking a bit patchy. I'm not sure it's, if it's because my because of my skin because I think in that area my cheek is not that smooth. I got like small bumps there. Maybe I should have. I'm not sure if my explanation is good, but I know it's not but yeah it's a bit it's a little bit patchy well you still can get away with it but yeah it's only like one dollar so oh well for one dollar it's quite good yeah yeah this is a taco if the light changes or the um, angle is a bit different from before, I just um, charge my battery because I just charged my battery and then took off the camera and then I have to put it again right there. So anyway, 
The next product that I have is this brand called Amina. And this is a blush. Um, it's called the Cheek Leap Blush in the color Violet Berry. It's this one here. I forgot how much is this one. Check. I think I bought it when it was on sale too. Yeah, this one is supposed to be 36,000 Indonesian rupiah, but then it's on discount, so I bought it for 29,500 rupiahs. So it's around maybe three dollars. I think it is three around. Yeah, it's around three dollars. Um, yeah. So let's try them out. From your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no. Hmm, it's quite nice. To be honest, I'm not good at explaining colors, but I think it's sort of like a mauvey pink. Yeah, I would describe this as a mauvey pink. And it's really good. You can build the color up and then it's not patchy. It's quite blendable. I might buy the other colors because this one is quite nice and it's only like $3. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Lately, I've been very into blush. Before that, I really love highlighters. I've been collecting them and then until I feel like, oh my god, it's too much. And then, so I don't know why. I moved to blush. Um, after blush, I'm going to apply highlighter. I'm going to use this MAC um, Hyper Real Glow Highlighter. And the color... In the color, they don't have any names in here, but this one is the pinkish one. Just gonna grab these two colors. If you like those highlighter, which is very blinding and also looks wet, this one is the one because I remember when I where this um my boyfriend asked me why am i so sweaty but i'm not at that time i don't really like um putting highlighter in the tip of the nose so just put a little bit on the bridge there okay so the last thing that i got is this eyeshadow palette this one I bought it so it comes they do have a few other range of colors but I only have I only bought the pink one this eyeshadow palette um, I bought it for 74,600 Indonesian rupees but before the discount it's 94,500 Indonesian rupees which is uh, almost $10 maybe around nine, $9.50 I think uh, yeah and this is from the brand call, called Warta it comes with a brush like this Not sure what kind of look that I want, but I'll try to set my um, lid with this color here, the lightest one. I 
think this brush is going to be good for my under eyes. Yeah. I think the size is quite good for my under eyes. I think I'm going to take that matte, matte color. Sort of like an... I think it's like orange. It's like a reddish brown. No, actually it's red. Sorry. Um, yeah. I'm going to try that color for my crease. Oh, it's, it's quite powdery. So you gotta tap it off. to use this color as my transition color oh my god it looks really nice you can build the color up Alright, so for the next color, I'm going to use this sort of like a dark pink. I'm going to put it all over my lid. It's really, really nice. It's not patchy at all. I'm going to blend it together with the transition color. I'm going to try the dark color here. I'm going to use this brush here and take the black color. There's a lot of kickback, but I guess that's okay. just finished one eye um, I'm going to do it again in the left eye here but um, with the black it's it's blendable but it's not it's not like very black when you blend it out it sort of it fades It is blendable, so I guess that's okay. Oh, and also, I changed my brush. I use this like smaller, uh, pointy blending brush, and then I did add the dark brown there, just a little bit on the inner part there. to add the shimmer again all right so after that i'm going to take this color the transition color that we used on my lower lash line I don't want the bottom part to be dark. Um, so the next color that we use is this dark brown. Not going to use the black color. And then I'm going to blend it out again. And then I'm going to take this color for my inner corner. Sorry, I just charged my camera again because 
This is the first time I used this camera and it's, it's not mine, it's my sister's because my camera needs to be fixed. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I just did my eyebrows and also my eyeliner. So the next step is to use a fake lashes. Use this one here, and I'm using the duo, the duo eyelash glue. on my false lashes so and then the last thing is lips I'm using the Morphe uh, lip liner in the coffee and kissy So for a lipstick, I'm going to use the Sassy um, lipstick in the color Antoniet. Let me turn the hand on the moon. Tell me you'll be on the soon. I wanna wait no. So this is the final look. Um with the products. The one that I really like is the foundation and also the blush these two items um with the contour powder i'm not so sure because i feel like it's a bit patchy even though it's not that bad but for that price i think that should be fine um it should be fine and with the eyeshadow does look good, but I feel like the shimmer color, which is that one there, I already applied it twice, but I feel like I feel like it's already gone. Like I have to reapply it um, again. But yeah, with the matte, it's quite blendable, but I don't think it will last long enough um, so yeah I hope you guys like this review no I hope you guys like this first impression this is the first time I did this kind of this is the first time I do this kind of video I'm not too sure because I don't feel like I'm good at explaining things but yeah I've give it a try so um, please subscribe to my channel and also leave me, any, leave me any comments down below what do you think about this first impression that I did is it good or not and like this video alright see you next time bye strawberries and wine she likes no say say I love you all the time roses at your feet baby girl be mine baby girl be mine